Horror Untold Story. Kate's appearance at Philip's funeral burned Haz and Meg to ashes for unethical. The Duchess of Cambridge recently wowed fans after appearing at the premiere of the new James Bond film, No Time to Die. While many noted that she is always stunning, fashionistas poured over the glamorous Jenny Packham gown she picked for the public appearance. Publications around the world claimed that she stole the show, with others arguing that she radiated Princess Diana. Kate Middleton's future in the royal family was laid bare during Prince Philip's funeral as the Duchess became the pillar on which everyone leant on, according to an expert. Her gown was almost akin to that worn by the Princess of Wales to the 1985 premiere of James Bond film, View to Kill. It isn't the first time Kate has stunned royal watchers. Earlier this year, she accompanied the rest of the family to the funeral of Prince Philip. As the nation joined them to bid farewell to the Duke of Edinburgh, Kate stood out to watchers from the assembled royals. She captured the public imagination with the now famous image of her seated in the funeral car with a black mask covering her lower face and thin veil pulled across her eyes. Emily Andrews, a royal author, claimed that the image, and Kate's presence throughout the funeral, proved that she was fit to be the future Queen of England. Speaking to Channel 5's documentary, Kate, our queen in waiting, she said, here was a woman at the top of her game, perfectly turned out. But also, quite rightly, taking her place as one of the most senior members of the royal family. I think it was one of those photographs where you really saw Queen Catherine in waiting, frankly. She also noted the significance of Kate's jewellery, and explained, she's wearing a pair of pearl and diamond earrings that had actually been permanently lent to her by the queen. Pearls and diamonds are the traditional jewellery you wear for mourning. Tom Quinn, another royal author, added, that incredibly elegant Catherine Walker dress coat with the bow on the shoulder, the net in the hair, the incredibly glossy hair. After the funeral, Kate was commended for acting as the family's glue, offering each member support throughout. Most notably, when leaving the chapel after the ceremony, Kate walked side by side with Prince Harry. Relations between the Duke of Sussex and the rest of the family were at the time tense after he appeared in a string of broadcast interviews taking aim at the firm in the weeks before. The most memorable stint came when he sat down with US talk show host Oprah Winfrey and suggested that the family had been racist and had failed to help Meghan Markle, his wife, with her mental health struggles. He returned to the UK to attend Philip's funeral, after which Kate appeared to manoeuvre a conversation between William and Harry. Images showed Kate walking alongside Harry and speeding up to reach William who was ahead of them. As the trio walked in a row, Kate slowly dropped back, leaving the two brothers alone. Meanwhile, Kate is thought to be preparing to join William on the green carpet at the first ever Earthshot Prize Awards ceremony at London's Alexandra Palace on Sunday 17 October. Kensington Palace recently confirmed the news, with William having worked on the cause for most of this year. The pair will join a number of high-profile guests on the night, including performances from Coldplay, Ed Sheeran, Yemi Alladay, KSI and Shawn Mendes. Sir David Attenborough will also speak about the importance of the Earthshot Prize and his optimism in tackling environmental challenges. Previous, Prince William and Prince Harry unveiled a new statue of their mother in the gardens of Kensington Palace. Due to coronavirus restrictions the event was significantly scaled down. It was the first time William and Harry met face to face since their grandfather's funeral in April, though they were only together for around an hour. Harry's relationship with the wider royal family deteriorated rapidly in March when he made a series of incendiary accusations during an interview with Oprah Winfrey. Speaking to the Sun a royal insider said, there were no peace talks and distance remains there. It is a step forward but this was not the time or the place. However there are proposals for a larger event in September when COVID-19 restrictions should have been lifted when COVID-19